WFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 11 a.m. update and currently have all the U.S. indices that we track at all the sectors with inside the S&P 500 trading to the downside. The S&P is down 42 points. The Dow is off 393. The Nasdaq 166, about a half a percent. A little over 2 percent for the uh, Russell. That's off 40 points. Uh, uh, semis are down 23. Trend is up 168. Gold is up 2 and 3 tenths percent. That's a $45 move. Silver is up over 3 percent. 67 cent move. Like three crude is up 224. Natural gas back 14 cents. 30 treasures up over two points. Trade out 132.21. China's got to be loving that. Let's go take a look at what all that means by looking at our nine panel market update chart. As we begin by taking a look at the ES mini, what it did at about four o'clock in the morning was it hit that resistance level. That's the top of that daily profile. That's at 4,007. So not a surprise that we're seeing price pull back. If we take a look at the spot volatile mix, well, it's still above its 50-day exponential moving average. That always gives the bears or sellers a leg up. We take a look at the NQ out here. The level you're going to watch today at the close is 12,632. That's the low of the swing point from February 2nd. That's what it is trading into. If it closes into that level again today, and yesterday was a close into that with volume, so price really should go target the top. But it needs to stay above 12,632, even Stephen. U.S. dollar index pulling back, protesting support. And that's the bottom of its daily profile, 103.77. Uh, the gold contract trading up into resistance. It's 1975.20. Price is able to close above that. That is going to negate a Rhodes Mintum indicator top and possibly set up an A to B equals CD to the upside. And it might be a big one. If you take a look at silver out here, it's trading above profiles. It's trading above yesterday's high. That is a bullish signal here. This should continue to motor on to the upside. Lights be crude. It needs a bearish, re a bullish reversal candle to confirm a longer term A to B equals CD by the D point. We don't have that as we speak right now. Natural gas pulling back, trading below profile and into the swing point that generated its um, uh, it's a uh, buy the D point pattern. The level to be watching there is 2.422. If price were to close below that today, your 237, it could signal a move all the way back to test low of that uh, swing point. That was from the day of, give me a second here, that was from the day of February 22nd. Lastly, 30 year treasury. It's up over two points, running right into prior resistance, which have been established by the swing point low from January the 19th, as well as a TAS market profile that's attempting to form today. Those sellers are supposed to be camped at 132.19. Folks, stay tuned for the Trader's Edge Show, but if you're out to start your Friday, have a fantastic one, a fantastic weekend. Thanks for joining us. We we'll look forward to being with you again soon. Take care now.